Hey everybody, it's D. Uh, I'm in the studio. Uh, I don't know if you're aware or not that um, I've been doing radio for over 20 years now. Um, I've done mornings in Hartford and Richmond, Virginia, nights in Philly. Uh, been on uh, Sirius Satellite, Sirius XM for a few years. I've um, what else I got going on? Oh, I mean, I've been doing uh, a radio show called The House of Hair for over 20 years. I'm on over 220 stations in North America. And yet I am not on Long Island. I mean, if you've been following my career, some of you may remember 20 years ago when I started, I was at WRCN late nights on Sunday doing a metal show called The Metal Nation. And that led to my radio career. And for a while there, RCN did play The House of Hair. But it's so bizarre that in my home, where I'm probably best known, they really don't know my radio personality. And I've been doing it for years and years and years very successfully. But that's not why I'm here to talk to you. I'm just here to remind you about my ride. Uh, it's happening on October 2nd, D. Snyder's 14th annual ride for charity. And this is the third year, I think it's the third or fourth, I'm not sure, that we're riding to feed the hungry uh, in cooperation with LI Cares, the Harry Chapin Foundation, a great local organization that Harry started to feed the hungry in our own backyard. I sound like a broken record, but I was unaware of the need locally until I discovered LI Cares and started working with them. And, um, you know, 11% of Long Islanders need help putting food on the table. And I've been to the LI Cares uh, food kitchens. I don't know what they call these places, but, they, you know, these local places where people come in. I've met these people who are going there for food and for help, and they're not what you think they are. They're not people using and abusing the system. They're just regular people having a tough time and to know that we are helping people with our ride with our work in our own backyards uh all right there on long island it's a game changer for me and my great committee who've been working with me for 14 years on these rides so the next one's happening on october 1st it's going to be the last ride of the season i'm sure Oddly, no, October 2nd. Don't get confused. October 2nd, because October 1st is Twisted Sister's final show ever in New Jersey. We're not doing another one in the region. It's it's the only show contractually. It's a big festival, three-day festival. Alice Cooper's headlining one night, and Twisted's headlining another. Uh, so, again, I'm not here to plug that show, but I do want to make you aware. But that's happening the night before in Jersey, and me and Mark the Animal Mendoza will be like, you know, leaving late, heading right to the ride out there on Long Island. See you in the morning, bright and early for this important cause. So I'm telling you, put it on your calendars. Save the date, October 2nd. The usual ride, if you haven't done it before, it starts and ends at Lido Beach. Got a nice loop down the Ocean Parkway. It's after the holidays, so the roads are empty. Police escort. It's beautiful. Over the Cap Tree Bridge, there's one part where we loop each other. Going and it's just the coolest moment in the ride to ride past the ride that you're on. It's just it's amazing. So put it on your calendar and go and pre-register at dsnydersride.com. Okay, um, pre-register for the ride. Why? Because quite honestly, it's money we can depend on. Okay, it's a donation. And I know you're saying, well, you know, I, if I'm not riding, I don't know if I'm going to ride. D. I don't know if I'm going to make it. What if the weather's bad? Whatever. I'm not sure of the amount this year, $25, $30, whatever it is. It's a donation to a great cause. And if you read pre-register, you'll get your patch. You'll get your pin. You'll get, I don't know what you get in your little pack. And But if you do decide to ride and you do come down, which I hope you will on the ride because there's strength in numbers and I need you there, um, you'll be pre-registered. So where the ride registration starts at 9 a.m. and there's great breakfast served and there's music jaded every year, does a thankless job of playing for the people in the morning. It's crazy. Uh, and I'll be down there bright and early. So you come down and hang, have some breakfast, have some coffee, register. But if you're pre-registered, you show up at 11 o'clock, fashionably late, and you roll in. Separate entrance for the uh, for the pre-reg riders. Um, yeah, you know, there's also a whole VIP thing if you're pre-reg, okay? So well, you're not a VIP, but you've got a special entrance for that stuff. So need you to go down, need you to pre-register October 2nd, D. Snyder's 14th ride for charity to benefit LI Cares. And we're on a mission. Every year we're kind of stuck at like $75,000, which feeds a lot of people. But we want to break the $100,000 mark. We did it with the uh, ride for the March of Dimes. 
a couple of times. We haven't done it yet with LI Cares. We want to bring that kind of money to Long Islanders to help feed hungry people, okay? So uh, join me. Go visit the website, dsnydersride.com. Pre-register for the ride. Find out all the details you want to find out. Find out about all my wonderful sponsors, so many great sponsors. And, of course, WBAB, Full Throttle Magazine, Garden City, uh, Garden City Pizza and Catering. Uh, been with me since forever. I know I'm forgetting so Cooch, they, you know, my 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 graphics designer and and all the we have so many great people who've been working with me for so many so many years and I thank you all. Oh, Joe Rock and you all stars will be playing. By the way, I'll be getting up there and rocking. Me and Mendoza going to get up there and do a little rocking as well. So you know that's going to be happening. So join me for T. Snyder's 14th ride. Thanks.